whatever you wish and it will be given to you praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord today we begin our session by praising and thanking the lord who is a greater god our god is a powerful god he is a mighty god dear friends let's sing together and praise and worship the mighty god who is the powerful one who is the controller of the universe let's sing together with the choir clapping the hands Water you turned into wine Open the eyes of the blind There's no one like you None like you Into the darkness we shine Out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you None like you So we say powerful god together with all the creatures in the universe we praise and worship and thank you lord hallelujah what are you turning to wine open the eyes of the blind there's no one like you none like you into the darkness we shine out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you None like you Our God is greater Our God is stronger God, you are higher than any other Our God is healer Our Son is power of God Our God Our God is greater Our God is stronger God, you are higher see the heavens were opened and the holy spirit came down on him and as a result there was a very loud voice from heaven saying this is my son the beloved in whom i am well pleased hallelujah hallelujah as a child i used to read this passage and i did not feel anything special about it i thought this is an affirmation from the father above that this is a beloved son of mine and there's just an affirmation and nothing more i felt but gradually as i grew up when i began to read the scriptures more deeply i understood one thing that god wants each and every one of us to be his beloved 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God the Father wants each and every individual to be his beloved ones. And he is just waiting for the day on which he could say, looking up, looking up to each and every one of you, you are my beloved son, I am well pleased with you. You are my beloved daughter, I am well pleased with you. God is just waiting and waiting and waiting to make sure that you, you and me become the beloved ones of God. And this is the affirmation that a man can get from above. Hallelujah. 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 So dear friends, to become the beloved of God, that is our duty and that is the way to salvation. We all have to become the beloved ones of God. When we come to the book of Genesis, we see that Adam and Eve Till they were committing sins, they were the beloved sons of God. God was just going around, walking together with them by, side by side, hand in hand, because they were his beloved children. Just like friends, they used to go out, uh, go for an outing. In the evenings, he, he used to go with this Adam and Eve on, uh, th uh, through the gardens, and they would just talk a lot of things. They were the beloved ones of God. And finally, when they went against God, they lost the position to be the, his beloved. Or, dear friends, the moment when they committed sin, they lost the belovedness. You would say. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then we come to the next uh, chapter 5 of Genesis. We see another person who lived as a beloved one. There is none other than Henoch. That we see in the book of Genesis chapter 5, verse 24. There, something is written about Henoch. Let us listen to that. Enoch walked with God. Then he was no more, because God took him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In another translation is said, Henoch lived beloved to God, therefore, Lord took him to heaven and no one has seen him ever. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And therefore what happened? Enoch wanted to become the beloved one of God. And that is why word of God says, Enoch lived a life that is worthy of a child of God. And he became beloved to God and God took him as a result to heaven and nobody has seen him ever. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear friends, what does it mean to become beloved ones of God? Dear friends, to become beloved ones of God means to be in full communion with God, to know the will of God and to practice the will of God is the meaning of to be the beloved one. We know in our families, if our children would get good marks or they, if they do something good, we always appreciate it and they become beloved to us. So, today we will just see what are the ways in which we can become the beloved ones of God. Dear friends, as we go through the Bible, we see how it is possible. First and foremost, to become the beloved ones of God, what you have to do is, we have to do the will of God. All those who do the will of God will become the beloved ones of God. Hallelujah. 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 Whatever may be your age, whatever may be your race or culture or wherever you are, if you have to become a beloved one of God, first you should seek and understand the will of God. All those people who seek the will of God and all those who are practicing this will of God in their lives, they become beloved. We see in the Gospel of St. Luke, dear friends, we see how Blessed Mother Mary became beloved. And we know the story, Mother Mary was announced, was given the message of incarnation. Jesus is going to be born in her. At that time, Mary's response is, Here am I, your handmaid, let your will be done on me. 
ഹലലുയാ she becomes beloved he becomes beloved hallelujah hallelujah so the very same thing was repeated by jesus while he was uh, having his agony uh, in the garden of gethsemane in the gospel of saint matthew we see chapter 26 verse 39 we see how jesus is accepting god's will we read chapter 26 of 39 and going a little farther He threw himself on the ground and prayed, "My Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not what I want, but what you want." Hallelujah. 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 Dear friends, this is the first way to become the beloved ones of God, to know the will of God. O oh Lord, you show me the way through which I have to tread, and finding out. what is the way that god has shown to us and going through that way seeking the will of god is the first step to become the beloved ones hallelujah 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 today friends today we live in a world where people do not seek the will of god rather they try to find out things from others they depend more on intelligence they never depend on god in in occasions of trials and sufferings and problems what they do they never turn to god instead they get human wisdom and because of this human wisdom they take some steps which is going to ruin them hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. in the book of isaiah chapter 31 verse 1 the book of isaiah chapter 31 verse 1 reads in this way alas for those who go down to egypt for help and who rely on horses who trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong but do not look to the holy one of israel or consult the lord see the last sentence the people who do not look into the holy uh, look at the holy one of god and never consult with them with him a person who does not look into the holy one of god and plus does not consult with him this is the pain of god today we make so many plans in our life we make so many programs in our life do we ever consult with god i know there are people who come and say father i always struggle in my business i can never come up in my uh, financial area i am always going down what is the reason the other day i met a man he came and told me father i started almost seven business all were flopped now i cannot go ahead i am so sad i asked him dear man how did you start father one after the other people told me you better to start this one first he started with uh, a bakery then the bake uh, it was uh, closed down then he started with a spare parts business of vehicles it was closed down and he almost started seven business all the seven business were uh, flop and he is telling i just cannot come up in life i told him dear man see the problem is you have consulted with everybody but not with god if you take a decision without consulting to god you are going to ruin yourself you are going to be utter failure today many of our thinking patterns are worldly many of the marriage proposals we know the proposals come in different from different ways and when the marriage proposals come normally 
we may consult with so many people but do we ever consult with god whether god do you allow this boy to come into our house or this girl to be uh, to come into my house or this when you take your partner when you select your partner how many of us make a selection before the lord lord is it the one you are going to give me normally what we do we think intellectually and make the decisions and that may be the reason one of the reasons why the marriages even fail hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. so dear friends word of god says if you have to be the beloved one of god first and foremost you should you should seek the consent of god you should do the will of god hallelujah 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 now dear friends the human wisdom is unable to give you the real knowledge and if you have to the have the consult with god what you have to do you have to get away from worldly uh, things in the letter to romans chapter 12 verse 2 word of god says you have to renounce yourself or you have to renounce the world do not go in conformity with the world if you go in conformity with the world you cannot understand the 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 real will of god would you please read for us do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your minds so that you may discern what is the will of god hallelujah if you renew or you should not have a transformation in your heart you should be renewed in your heart with the holy spirit then only you will be able to know the will of god hallelujah hallelujah some people say father i did things according to my conscience my conscience says it is good okay i did it no dear friends we cannot always go according to the conscience because if a thief he takes some th- takes something away and he doesn't feel bad about it he says it is my conscience says it's okay because he has more i have nothing no a conscience must be a pure conscience only when it is filled with the holy spirit and when it goes in accordance with the word of god unless and until it is not touched by the holy spirit if the conscience is not formed by the teachings of the holy spirit and the holy scriptures your this conscience will not be a, a true conscience of god hallelujah 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 again in the book of uh, wisdom chapter 9 verse 17 says oh lord it is you who has to give us the holy spirit so that we may have the real will of god we read 917 who has learned your counsel unless you have given wisdom and sent your holy spirit from on high hallelujah 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 let us stand up dear friends the word of god says a person can become beloved only by be doing the will of god in order to do the will of god you need the holy spirit and your hearts have to be transformed made renew secondly you become the beloved ones by obeying the commandments praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord hallelujah 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 Lord Jesus you are a wonderful lord we want to we want to, to be the beloved ones of yours Jesus you became the beloved one of the father by accepting his will and doing his will to the full and today we want to love you more and more Jesus Oh Jesus what a wonder you are You are a wonderful God We want to be yours alone Oh Lord we want to get away from all the chains that prevents or blocks us or bind us from becoming the beloved to you Maybe certain relations maybe certain slaveries to some things and people and things like that places in day to day our activities before making any further decisions help us to 
seek your decision your decisions are the important ones in my life a lot today as we are praying that all those people who are unable to make decisions with regard to their family their job their career whatever may be may be filled with the holy spirit let them be relieved from all kinds of blocks and and the, all kinds of burdens that they are having today lord as we are getting ready to receive your blessings please touch and heal us let everyone who is attending this adoration may be filled with the holy spirit so that they may be able to grasp and understand the will of the father and of jesus let us get ready to for the blessings by praising and worshiping the lord hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us praise and worship the lord hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord.